Hello guys, welcome back. Are you thinking about upgrading your gaming mouse? Then let's talk about two sensors that power up most gaming mice today, the PAW 3395 and the newer PAW 3950. Both sensors come from PixArt and you'll find them in mice from brands like BenQ, Pulsar, and Lamzu. But which one should you actually care about? Here's the deal. The PAW 3950 has higher numbers on paper. It goes up to 30,000 DPI versus 26,000 on the older models. It tracks faster movements at 750 IPS compared to 650, and it handles more G-force. But honestly, most gamers won't even notice the differences. You're probably not playing at max DPI anyway, so the real improvements are more subtle. The PAW 3950 has better lift-off distance options, and you can set it up as low as 0.7 millimeters. This means when you lift your mouse to reposition, it stops tracking faster. The 3395 only goes down to 1 millimeter. Battery life is where you'll actually notice a difference though. The PAW 3950 is about 8% more efficient, that's roughly an extra hour or two of gaming time per charge on wireless mice. Should you buy a Based on the sensor alone though? Probably not. Mouse shape, weight, and how it feels in your hand matter way more than these sensor specs. The PAW 3950 is technically better, especially for competitive players who need that faster liftoff distance, but if you find a great mouse with the 3395, don't let the sensor stop you. Both are excellent, just focus on finding a mouse that fits your grip style and gaming needs. The sensor war is mostly marketing guys. Comfort wins games, not spec sheets. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.